When it comes to superheroes, what comes to your mind? One could presume typical images of Superman or other tight-wearing, cape-clad vigilantes soaring around and beating up crooks is a typical image. But who I'm about to introduce you to, you can throw that typical idea right out the window. My first exposure to Hellboy was this 2004 film based on the 1994 comic book, Seed of Destruction. Watching this hulking, red-skinned hellspawn running around battling monsters riveted my attention. It wasn't until years later until I bought my first comic book. Hellboy is a unique breed of comics. Because uh, even though it started off small, but because of its unique art, story, and characters, it has grown into an expansive universe all of its own. The creator of Hellboy is just as interesting as our horned hero. According to the official website, The Art of Mike Mignola, when he was a child, he read Dracula, and his love of monsters grew. It became his desire to draw comic books for a living. To do that, he began work in 1982 with DC and Marvel Comics as an inker and cover artist. And then in 1993, he moved to Dark Horse Comics and eventually created Hellboy for many different influences. Clay Inferno, editor of 13th Dimension, an online comic book oriented editorial, Mignola discusses his influences with him. Influential writers to Mignola include Robert R. Howard, who wrote Conan the Barbarian, and Jack Kirby, creator of Captain America. Both influenced him due to their lack of chronology when writing stories, leaving the reader to piece together the life of the hero. Influential artists include, include Frank Frazetta, who was uh, the artist of Conan, and Bernie Wrightson, who was an old-time horror artist. They influenced him due to their use of dark shadows and silhouettes. From humble beginnings, Mignola created an engaging tale. The story of Hellboy is both enchanting and haunting. It follows him in his adventures as he meets many creatures and forces of myth and legend, and they all know him based on the prophecy of his birth. And he, is, he internally struggles with who he is and who he's prophesied to be, the bringer of the apocalypse. The characters found in Hellboy are all both capturing and imposing. We meet Rasputin, a dark prophet of Russian folklore, who summoned Hellboy into this world. He has cheated death on many occasions and succeeds in combining mad science with black arts. We also meet Professor Broom, who found and raised Hellboy as his own child. He is the founder of the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, aka the BPRD, and he has much wisdom, courage, and charisma to offer young Hellboy. We meet Liz Sherman, who is friend and companion of Hellboy. She is a pyrokinetic having the ability to control fire. And we also meet Ape Sapien, who is an aquatic humanoid. He was found in a subterranean chamber, and, but he doesn't know what he is or how he was created. Because of the series' uniqueness, it grew into a cult following. All stories related to Hellboy are commonly referred to as the Mignolaverse. The Mignolaverse has several comic book spin-offs, including the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, Witchfinder, Lobster Johnson, and Abe Sapien. There are also a few novels written by authors besides Mignola. There are two, two feature-length films, both directed by Guillermo del Toro, a few animated movies, three short story collections, filled with stories written by numerous authors, and a still growing collection of Hellboy comics. The world of Hellboy is a fantastic one, and can capture anyone's intention because of its fantastic art, writing style, and lovable characters. 
and it is amazing to see how far it has come from so little.